so here I want to talk about cooldowns, pathing, and clear objectives. So the, the first part of this picture is that we have two minutes to our second Infernal Drake. Okay, we're two minutes out from the Drake, and we're going to see something happen mid. Echo is coming around mid. And first of all, um, let's talk about wards. So I think this was my ward. Um, I'm not sure whose it is. But because we have preemptively warded the dragon pit, first of all, this ward is uh, um, it's good for if we're about to fight the dragon, but it's not like they're not going to know that we're on it. This ward is probably better placed here or here because it would have spotted the echo then. We're dark on the whole bottom side of the map. Um, Van's got a ward up here, um, but we're, we're so dark everywhere else that this is pretty problematic. So we probably need a ward here because we've got a, a path from the jungle to mid where he can come in from so many angles that that's not very good. So this ward is misplaced right now and should be here instead. So what's going to happen here is Van's going to make a pretty good mechanical play. So he dodges that, gets the ult off, right? And that Vigar gets what I consider to be a lucky flash off. But let's, let's start talking about what this means. They've lost two flashes, a five minute cooldown with Dragon up in two minutes. So we know that Vigar, a big part of their damage and uh, zero mobility, has no flash, okay? So that's, that's helpful. Echo not having flash is not a huge deal, but the way that we react to like this is like we forget Dragon's coming up. So again, we're probably playing a little too aggressively with Dragon about to be up. We don't really want to be dying. And we get into a very long fight down here. Okay, I'm going to slow this down a bit. So we get into a really long fight where we actually kill the Echo, which is good. Okay, and then we're going to kill the Alistar. And I think we get Twitch as well. Or if not, we get really close. Okay, so that's Twitch heal down. And I think we had vision of that. But we stay down here to get this tower. We get first tower, which is excellent. And Dragon is 27 seconds away. So at this point, if we look at the map, and let me change the vision to just us, okay? So if we look at the map, we don't have vision on anybody. We know Dragon's up in 30 seconds. We're pinging it. The enemy's pinging it. Um, we can see a product of the early freeze happening here because Jax, even though he hasn't played great, got so much early farm, he's able to kill Ray mid under tower. So if we stop right here, we don't have any vision, and Nautilus and Ezreal are in a terrible spot, okay? So we're acting like Jax is the only one on the map right now, and we've pathed all the way up here with no vision on anyone. We just got vision of the Alistar, but we're still missing Twitch, who could be invis. We have no idea where Vigar is. He, his death timer's been over, and he's got room to come back in. And so we're going mid to get the mid shove before going to Dragon, I think is what's on our minds. now. I'm not sure why we're doing that, because we could just as easily take the blast cone that was here before we cleared it over after pushing bot, because the jacks was low, and this tower is full. We didn't really need to defend this tower, but we chose to path up here anyway. And the big problem is not necessarily that we chose to path up here, it's the path we took. So if you look, Van is pretty far behind back here. Ezreal, Nautilus are up here. Trundle is over here, and Trundle is the only one with flash. We have no... Uh, we have ult, but no summoners on Zed. We have no ult and no combat summoners on Ezreal, and we have no combat summoners, no ult on Nautilus. So if we're thinking about managing our cooldowns right now, we really don't want to look for a fight unless we have five people and clear vision of the enemy. So if we had instead pathed, not in the aggressive way, but in the passive way up the river, then we could all be right behind this trundle. Let me back that up. We could all be right behind this trundle. So instead, we come up here, and we're getting deep vision, which is not generally a bad thing, but the sacrifice is that we give trundle away, basically. We take away Toy's flash and attempt to save that for nothing, and the Vigar is able to walk out. Jax is able to walk out. If we'd gone together, Jax would be dead. There is no question Jax would absolutely be dead. One Nautilus hook and a few auto attacks, and he's gone. So Jax would not be there for this. Ezreal eats a ton of unnecessary damage here and is going to get too low to be able to get close in this fight. Watch them as they path towards the dragon. Okay, they've got their tank positioned between their squishies that don't have flash and us. And they go ahead and start this dragon. Now let's pause again and look at our options. So right now we have 
uh, our vision's getting cleared. We don't have vision in this brush. We don't have vision anywhere down here. And we all have different goals. We should be looking at our cooldowns, what we can do. So there's no mana on Nautilus, and he's about to have ult up, but he may not even have enough mana to cast it. Ezreal is pretty low. And then we've got two people coming back from dead, neither of whom have flash. Well, um, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Darius who doesn't have flash and the Trundle who uh, doesn't have a combat summoner besides Cold Smite, but he wants for Dragon. So Ezreal's going to come in here and position way too aggressively, trying to get the Dragon, get knocked up and have to blow that. And so right now, what is our, what is our goal? They've got four, five people on this Dragon. We have a no health, no ult Ezreal uh, right up there. The Zed's going to come around to try and pick off the dragon from the back for a steal. If that's what we're going for, we don't need to be here. We don't need to be here. And we should all be pushing mid instead. Nautilus gets these minions to the tower. We could have gotten tower damage. But instead, we do really three different things. So coming from the base, Nautilus or uh, Darius and Trundle thought we were going to try and fight and go for the dragon. Ezreal's probably too low, even though this is the call we were making. Right, we were making the call to go fight a dragon. So we make this call, and because we got pushed off and changed objectives and don't have any mana, then this becomes a 2v5 instantly. Right? The Jax wouldn't be there for that stun if we killed him, or he would have had to burn teleport at least. So now we not only lose the dragon, we get a death, and we lose mid priority and don't get anything else. So the way to prevent this from happening is actually to do something different back here. Right after we take this tower, which this was a great play, right after we take this tower and some solid roams, we need to path together up this way. Instead of trying to get the really deep vision when we don't have vision of anybody else, we should have pathed together, killed the jacks, and then if we didn't have the ability to pressure the dragon, we should have pressured mid and forced a uh, trade as opposed to giving something away and then giving extra stuff away on the way to do that.